Hey everybody, my name is Nathan, and today we're going to be making our very first Apex Legends tutorial. So this is pretty exciting. I've been able to hit 1000 kills and I want to share with you how I was able to do it somewhat quickly. So you're probably here because you want to destroy your friends or you just want to impress them. And either of those are really good reasons to watch this video. I just killed three people with punches! So let's go ahead and begin. I've got five simple points for you. So for number one, you're going to want to play into the strengths of the legend you pick. All of the legends are different. They have different ultimates, different abilities. None of them are the same. So that means different strategies are gonna work with those legends. So let's pick Bangalore, for example, since she's particularly my favorite. Bangalore's ability is shooting a smoke grenade. She can shoot two of them, and most of you know this. So now let's think about what could set us up to get more kills in a game. And that would be the digital threat scope. Having the digital threat scope allows you to see enemies through the smoke when they can't see you. So this allows you to get some more damage damage in and get some more kills in while they're just blindly shooting through the smoke. I swear I backed up. Oh dude, this guy was sitting on a uh, digital threat and didn't even tell the Bangalore player. The Bangalore should always have the digital threat no matter like who you're playing with. I think this is just the winning play. Knocked one. Knocked two. Knock three. Mm, the wingman master. And that's why you steal the threat scopes off of your teammates so that you can just keep throwing down smoke and play into your legend strengths. And that is a great example of picking attachments and having a play style built around the specific legend you chose. And it's all about setting you up for success and your longevity in a match to get more kills. Same thing with Pathfinder, which is the robot. You can use those beacons around the map to find out where the next circle is. Go ahead and get to that circle so you're two steps ahead the rest of the player base that's still alive. Set yourself up for success. This will get you more kills. Moving on to number two. Wait, two plus two is four. Shoot. All right, moving on to number two. So this is going to be not as technical of a point. It's going to be about your mindset. And I talked about this in a Fortnite video I did a very long time ago. You need to be in the mindset of a hunter. Most people, when they come to these types of battle royale games, they go and they play the edge of the circle because it feels safe. That's our boy here has 173 kills, 199 games played. That's averaging less than one like kill a reason. game. I don't like that ratio, Jake. <laughs> it's comfortable to not go out and do something. It's comfortable to just drop in a random place that probably doesn't have many people, loot, and you're going to sit that circle until the very end of the game, and then you're going to get owned. No, if you want to get kills, if you're going to get your first 1,000, be a hunter. Go out, keep moving, be aggressive. Those are the types of players that get 1,000 kills. If you go on Twitch, you see the Dizzies, the Ninjas, you know, the X, Y, and Z million streamers that are playing these battle royales. Are they camping the edge of the circle? No, they have all these kills because they are going and being proactive. That's what you want to do. It's okay if you take a few deaths because you're going to have to learn how to keep up with the people that are aggressive, but you will absolutely be able to keep up once you start practicing and trying. And honestly, it's a lot more fun when you're playing fast and getting kills than sitting the circle and reading a book. I'm going in, Jake. This ain't the time for waiting. This is the time for playing. Nice. Number three, don't play Gibraltar. Do yourself a favor, guys. He is crazy fat, and he looks like me. He's insanely fat. He sticks out from behind the rocks when you're hiding half the time. Just do yourself a favor. Don't play him, guys. He's a little too thick for us right now. Man, your guy is really fat in game now. Golf. <laughs> And not to mention, his hitbox is a little bit larger, which they're even having to fix in the patch notes we just saw. Pick anyone else. No Gibraltar. So now we're on number four. And this is going to be something you've probably never heard before. Something that I've seen in my own matches that has been working. Heal yourself to full HP before going and helping up your bleeding out teammate. We've all had this in our games, and it's pretty much applicable to every match you'll ever play. A teammate will get shot and killed. He will go down. Not Okay, we're not talking he's completely dead yet, but he's just bleeding out. Before you go and help him up after assuming you've won the fight and he's just sitting there waiting, heal yourself. Do not go and instantly help him up. Heal yourself to full HP because most of the time people have heard those gunshots and there are so many situations people are coming for you right then and there. Do not help up your teammate and both of you are going to be stuck at very low health. Heal yourself. You have a better chance at winning. Get him up after you've healed yourself. It's going to help you get so many more kills in situations. It's just going to help your chance of coming out of a fight. Because if you get jumped when you're resing a teammate and you're 1 HP and he's just down, 
you're gonna lose that fight. Number five, the very last point I have for you here to start impressing your friends. Land in popular areas. When you're landing, it is very common to think, go to a spot with not many people so we get all the loot. There's a little bit of truth to that. But you know what's more important and you want to start driving up your kill card on your stat page go to the crowded and popular areas get a weapon and just start fragging that is how you get a lot of kills you don't necessarily have to go to the hot zone every single time but go to areas where you know that if there are more we you know we'll just call them cities go to the more city like areas instead of where there's just a house or two drop in the cities get your weapons and start going for kills because there will always be people there. And that is the best advice I can give you guys. These five points will drive your kills through the roof and you will start being able to impress your friends and own them when they're on the other squads. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have an amazing rest of the night, everybody. And good luck in your matches. Take care, dudes. See ya. Dun dun dun. Bangalore says hello. Subscribe to Nathan! <laughs>